Hello and welcome to my course on project based Python programming for kids and beginners. And here we are going to learn Python programming in a hands on manner by creating games, GUIs, and graphics. So, before I dive into what this course is about, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm sure many of you know me already. I'm Minerva and I'm a PhD graduate in Tropical Ecology from Cambridge University. I hold an MPhil in Environmental Sciences from Oxford. I have several years of experience in working with both Python and R and doing practical programming and it, it is essentially on the basis of my practical programming experience that I've developed this course. You can always follow my updates on both Twitter and Facebook. Minerva underscore data lab at Twitter and Minerva data lab on Facebook. And that's me, by the way. So what is this course about? Well, the course is about practical Python programming. And essentially, it is what it is. And I'm I seek to provide you with hands on step by step instructions regarding the basic Python programming concepts and how to implement them. So the keyword over here is practical and well, two keywords, practical and hands-on. And the upshot is that I focus very little on theory, just bare minimum. And the bulk of the focus is on equ equipping you to carry out practical programming tasks using Python. And I always, instruct my students in a hands-on manner so that they can follow along or code along. Specifically, I'm going to provide you with a robust practical introduction to the most important and basic Python programming concepts. We are going to learn and most importantly, reinforce the bespoke concepts by building games, graphics and GUIs and reinforced learning and especially practical reinforced learning is the most important thing that you could do, especially to master something like programming. And that is what this course is about. And that is how it is different from all the other courses. And we are going to do this over the course of 50 plus detailed lectures, plus a couple of quizzes to test your understanding. Specifically, we are going to develop a number guessing game. And we are going to move from just making a very basic number guessing game to a number guessing game with more advanced functionalities using basic Python programming concepts. So throughout the given section, I'm going to introduce you to the Python programming concepts, loops, etc. And then we are going to actually weave those together to build a number guessing game. We are going to learn to draw graphics and we are going to move from geometric figures to drawing irregular patterns using programming. And not to put too fine a point on it, I would like you to watch this brief video. And these are the kind of graphics you will be able to draw once you work through this course. Then finally, we are going to learn to design and launch functional GUIs or graphic user, user interfaces. And we are going to learn to implement programming concepts to develop useful apps and learn about GUI and user experience design while we are at it. So what will this course do for you? And as compared, and why should you think of taking this as opposed to the other courses? Well, the first thing is that I'm going to take the students without a prior background from a basic level to performing more advanced tasks in Python. And this includes developing a functional Python based temperature converter app in addition to developing beautiful graphics and building a number number guessing game. I'm going to introduce some of the most important programming concepts to students in a practical manner such that you may be able to apply these concepts for practical programming. You will develop, you will gain a strong background in some of the most important programming concepts and we will reinforce them as we develop games, GUIs and graphics together, lecture by lecture. And every lecture is going to either teach you a programming concept or reinforce a pr programming concept practically. And you will get a basic but robust exposure to Python GUI development. 
and a firm foundation to learn more advanced topics once you complete this course. There are only two requirements. You need to have an interest in programming and if you can follow lectures 3 and 7 of this course and just get Python installed on your system, then you're good to get started because throughout lecture 3 and 7, I talk you through Python installations, things like IDEs, how do you go around checking your code online using the, Pyth the online Python programs, etc. So if you are able to do all of this and if you are able to get a hang of it and you have a functional copy of Python on your system, you're good to get kickstarted. And by the way, lecture 2 contains all the codes and the scripts that we have developed throughout this course and these scripts, they have been attached to the individual lectures as well, wherever relevant. Obviously, I will be grateful if you could share your feedback. If you have any difficulties, please contact me through messaging or the discussion board. I'm always around to help. Please let me know if you're interested in any other aspects of such as statistical analyses, machine learning, MATLAB. I'm always, I always depend on student feedback to develop more lectures and courses. And having said that, I suggest you move on to Python 2 to download the script, uh, the lecture two to download the scripts, etc. And lecture three onwards will instruct you in installing Python on your system and actually getting kickstarted with it because that can be a bit fiddly. So all the best with your coding adventure.